Hey, that's wonderful. Finger strike. Huh? The finger double strike? finger strike. I know that Shaolin has the one finger strike, but double finger strike? Yeah, that's yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. Teacher, was that style invented at Shaolin Temple? That's right. This was invented by a student from Fujian. His name is Fong Si Yu. <laughs> Enjoy a very long life. Well, and happiness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's windy out here. He may catch you. Yeah. Let's go. 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 <laughs> now, madam, what are you going to call it? Yes, it's called See You. Oh, oh, that's, that's a very good name. Good name. Very good. Yes. Yeah. I want 500 silver pieces. some money. Oh, no, sir. He wants five... So give him five coppers. No, sir. Uh, he wants 500 silver pieces. What? 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 Five hundred? What does the priest look like? Uh, he's hard to describe, Master. You better come have a look now. All right. I'll go with you. No, you stay here. Look after he's the baby. Right. Huh? Let's go. Yeah. It's just blackmail. Five hundred silver pieces, a lot of money. Let's go outside. Let's see what Oh, my God! <laughs> Please tell me, sir, what do you want here? Well, now. My student, Ray Hong, and I were just passing through, and we heard that it was your son's birthday today. 
So we came to congratulate you, and I hope you'll give generously. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so? For any charity, we give what we want. Yet you demand a large sum and also threaten us. <laughs> you don't scare me. So, madam, you're also a martial artist. I'd like to see just what you can do. <laughs> that stone drum is broken now. But just one drum will look strange. So I'll break this too. <laughs> So I see it's the Shaolin King Kong Paul. But my student will take care of you easily. Go on, Ray. Mm. Hey now. Hey, Blue Jay! No dog! Stand aside! You're just an old nun. <laughs> That's too bad, because I'm not interested in you at all. Hmm. You're just garbage. I'll get rid of you. Uh -huh. Come on. bless you. Pure Jade. Pure Jade. One must always forgive. He's badly wounded. He won't be back here again. Just let him go. Get out of here. <coughs> <coughs> you goddamn bitch. Your son will die. You mark my words. I'll make sure of that. <coughs> Let's go. He means what he says. I'll teach you a way to protect CU before I leave. Oh, thank you, teacher. This is to build up his resistance to blows and bruises. Firstly, remember the characteristics of these different kinds of herbs. You must boil them for a certain time before using. Also, as the child is still young, it's impossible to train his whole body, so we'll do it by stages. Firstly, tie his hands and feet up with bandages, not too loose and not too tight. Then dip him in the medicinal water for an hour every day and gradually prolong it till he's four or five years old. After several years of this, his body will sustain any kind of blows. But I suggest you send him to Shaolin Temple anyway to learn Kung Fu from Master Wisdom. I'll tell Master Wisdom to expect him.
All right, all right. That's enough. Let him have a rest. See, you're still young. Don't be so hard on him. <laughs> Don't you worry. Your dear son is a gift for martial arts. <laughs> <laughs> Stop when you're tired, huh? <laughs> I do, very much. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the newest pattern from So Chow. The quality is very good. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Very nice. Well, now, sir, do you like... Oh, I see. Right. Uh, right. I'll be your oh, price. Oh, thank you, sir, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she, you? Huh? What now? You want him to practice again? <laughs> no. I just want him to try this on. Ah, Akwai? Uh, Akwai? Uh, coming. Uh, uh, madam, what's the matter? Where is she, you? Uh, he's just gone out. Where's he gone to? Oh, uh, a uh, priest was here asking for your teacher, so the young master, well, he... Uh... A priest? You want Mistress Wu Mei? That's right. I came here especially to see the old nun. But she's already gone to Yan. What's her relationship to you? Well, she's my mother's teacher. Then tell me your name. Fong Si Yu, sir. <laughs> I see. So the old bitch is out, but the young one will do. It's all the same. What did you say? <laughs> I told you before that your son will die, didn't I remember? Well, your son is dying right now. <laughs> See, you. See you. You all right? Are you all right? Are you all right? Are you all right? My body is you, strong. He can't sure? hurt me. Yes. <laughs> See, okay. I'm fine. Right? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> that was nothing. <clears throat> you feel all right? <laughs> a little pain. Uh, tell me, see you. Does he hurt bad? Huh? Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> we fine. better get him a doctor. <laughs> Akwai, go on. Yes, Master. Uh, is it still painful? I'm all right, Dad. Uh, it's your fault. You want him to practice every day? If not, he'd be inside studying. If it hadn't been for that, he'd have been killed just now. Uh, I'm sure we haven't seen the last of that priest. I've decided. We'll send see you to Shaolin Temple. Huh? What's that? Become a monk? Huh. <laughs> I won't go. No. <laughs> My son, you just go there to learn Shaolin Kung Fu. Huh? <laughs> Husband, what do you think? Fine. It's good that he hides for a while. What do you mean by that? All right, I'll go and learn Kung Fu. <laughs> Oh, 
My son, see you, is still young. Please forgive him, sir. Oh, so this is see you. <laughs> Many years ago, your teacher did ask me to teach this boy Kung Fu. Please tell me, how is she now? Oh, she's gone back to your nun. Oh. Have you ever learned Kung Fu? Uh, I have. I've learned self-protection. <laughs> Good. Good. Come on now, bow to your teacher. Oh, teacher. One moment. You must pass the test before you're admitted. A test? Uh, that's right. That's the rule here. Uh. Huh. So try me. Sound the bell and the drum. Please go ahead. <laughs> it looks fun. 
Go and show this brother to his bed. Yes. Thank you, brother. Mm. Please? Uh, I'll be back very soon, so don't fool around, eh? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Wu. First name, Wai Kin. That's Wu Wai Kin. Tell me, brother. What's yours? I'm Feng Si Yu. Oh. You arrived today? Yes. I came to learn Kung Fu. Oh, yeah? Is the Kung Fu any good here? Of course. Come with me. Uh. Wow! The, these people! What are they... Why are they... Uh, brother. Do you find it strange? Yes. I'll explain to you. There are five classes of beds. First class is a piece of board, so one won't fall off. Second class is a piece of bamboo. Third class is sleeping against the wall. Fourth class is a rope. And fifth class is sleeping between two benches. But how can they sleep? <laughs> you can't, but they can. You'll learn to do that soon. And what class are you? Me? I'm a man. First class, of course. Oh. You're first class, too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you doing? You little oh. bastard. Hey, don't you curse at me. I'll teach you a lesson. Oh, oh yeah? Come, come on. Get, let me get out of here. Come here, you little swine. Come on, brother. I catch you, I'll teach you. I catch me. Come back here. <laughs> I get hold of you. Come on. I'll show you. One more. Stop. What's this fighting about? He just started to pick I on me. I was practicing, and he came and messed me Shut up. Shut up! Let's go and see the abbot. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah, Bless you, bless you. Being a teacher involves 
teaching your students morals. Kung Fu is to build your body, but not for fighting. So, I hope you'll observe these regulations. Are you all here? Yes, yes sir. sir. One, One should, should not commit any murder, any stealing, no, no drinking, and no lying. As this is the first time they've broken the rules, Bright Moon? Yes. They'll be let off. Yes. The abbot is merciful to both of you. Go now. See you. Abbot? You stay here. Yes. Although you were just defending yourself, you must still remember always to respect your elders. You understand? Yes, sir. I know your foundation's good, and you've learned self-protection. You've improved fast. From tomorrow, you can start cooking in the kitchen. Huh? Cooking? <laughs> now then, you go outside and observe your brother's practice. If you have any questions, go and ask Master Bright Moon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in the kitchen. What? Really? You're oh, wrong. You're very lucky.
Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Careful. Now give it a good stir. Too hard? <laughs> no, brother. But I don't know whether I should ask you something or not. Go ahead. <laughs> Why did I have to hang upside down? But that's also practice. Uh huh? Is that so? That's right. Everything we do here is boiled down to practice. Our ancestor did say that one could create kung fu out of any kind of movement at all. Ah. Oh. The saying goes: nothing is impossible. If one really works hard, understand? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Finger strike? Never heard of it. Look at that. It's incredible. I never heard of that. There is only a one finger strike, so he's talking rubbish. Yeah, come on, yeah. Snake is dead. Why are you crying? This bowl of rice was for my grandfather. And now I've broken it. He's nothing to eat. Young lady, where is he now? He's cutting grass to make money. What's that? He can sell grass? If we're lucky, it'll fetch in a few pounds of rice. How old is he? Seventy years old. Mm. Young lady, where do you live? We're living in a hut by the hill. Thank you, sir.
to die as time goes on. As for a fish taken from the water, time's a fleeting thing, so just work hard. Cherish each moment, shoulder your burden. Useless thoughts demean the spirit. Strive for purity and attain nirvana. Buddha bless us. Remember me? Ah, oh, it's you. <laughs> I brought some rice for your granddad. Here. I have to go. My flower? Uh. What's going on? Granddad, this is for you. Oh? Oh, but it's rice. finish my work. Granddad hasn't been to work for two days. Will you give him these buns now? Thank you. Uh, huh? He's sleeping. Well, don't wake him up then. I'll go now. Every day to see yeah. this young lady. Yeah, that's right. Your brother, you're very smart. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so you found a girlfriend real quick, yeah. huh? <laughs> hey, brothers, uh, so brothers, right. come on, it's Back, not what you think. On. That's we not know. it at all. <laughs> you did it. Come on, you did it. Yeah. Not true. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen it ourselves. You stole food from the temple for this girl. You're guilty of theft. Nonsense! That's not true. But we witnessed it. You can't deny it. Come on, we're going to the abbot. Brother, I thought you were joking with him. Why are you so serious? Huh, joking? Are you taking his side? Come on. Don't push me. Uh, what? Brother, brother. You looking for a fight then? Brothers, let's calm down. Let's go see the abbot about this. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's go. Yeah, yeah. Move. <laughs> White flower? Huh? Yes, Granddad?
to you. Tell me, is that true? No. You? Hey. You mean they accuse you wrongly? Hmm. They are all your senior brothers. And they did witness it. That you have committed theft and have a girl. I stole nothing. And there's nothing between that girl and me. Huh. How dare you? Kneel down. Our Shaolin Temple has a good name. We don't allow our students to ruin our reputation. I report you to the abbot. You will be punished. No, I won't. Because I've done nothing wrong. I know you've never liked me. So I'll leave. I'll leave right now. Hey, hey brother. Be hey. hot. Go and fetch the abbot at once. Right. <laughs> Master, please wait. Come on, come on. Master, I beg you, please don't punish this young master. He's a very good young man. And who are you? Uh, my name is Fung. I live nearby here. I'm over 70 years old. Uh, Get up. Stand up now and we'll talk. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, she is White Flower, my granddaughter. There are only... The two of us, and I go and cut grass. We just make enough to eat. <laughs> Lately, I've fallen ill due to my age, and I can't work, and we nearly starve to death. <laughs> but thanks to young Master Fang, he's brought us some rice and some buns to us every day, or I'd have been dead, sir, long ago. <laughs> Frankly, I don't care if I die, but Master Fang is really a very kind man. He is innocent of this crime. And I'd feel guilty if we didn't speak. That's why I make the journey to come here and speak for him, despite what you might do. Master Fang is not only a kind, but a very honorable young man. He's not the kind of man you say he is. I'm sure the merciful Buddha would bless a man like him, sir. Did you hear that? Brother didn't eat his dinner, but he kept it and took it to them. Buddha, bless you. Bless you, bless you. I've already heard everything that this old gentleman said. A monk should always be merciful. He will be dealt with justly. Don't worry. Hey, thank you, thank you. So, Abbot, what'll we do? Abbot, it's my fault. I'd cause this. Abbot. Abbot, Brother Fang is going to leave. What should we do? As you cause this, you'd better solve the problem yourself. Yes. That's all now. You may leave. Yes. Come with me. Come on. I'll order the kitchen to send rice to you every day. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. God bless you. Want. You can't leave here. You can't stop me. Uh, I want to apologize to you. What's that? Don't kid me. Hey, hold it. Huh. So, do you want to fight? We, we don't want to fight, fight you. Huh. I'm not scared of you. 
You haven't completed your studies. If you leave now, you'll disgrace Shaolin Temple. No use in saying that. Then you have to... take three presents from all of us. Presents? What's the meaning of this? One leg. One hand. And one head. <laughs> I don't want them. <laughs> you don't? You won't take them? Of course not. Come on. Come along. Huh? Come on. Yeah. Huh. So I see you intend to fight with me. All right. You can all come at once, because I'm not scared of you. Roxanne, go ahead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There are three movements in the style. Pay attention to each movement and step. Right, go ahead. You all right? Brother, I'm sorry. Too hard on you? I'm all right. Thank you, brother. Could you show me again? Hey, brother. You've already had that present. Good Kung Fu takes a lot of practice. Now the second present. Kwok Kong? Yes? Brother, this movement is called the Flying Dragon. Hey! Oh. Brother, are you okay? I'm fine. Brother, it's, it's a fantastic style. <laughs> Brother, it's my turn now. If you can't take it, better stay out of the way. I understand. <laughs> oh, brother! That was terrific! Of course. I've been practicing it for three years. Do you want to learn it? Oh, 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 would uh, bless you. Habit, I know I was wrong. Please allow me to stay and study at Shaolin Temple. Would uh, bless you. Uh, look at you. Even at your age, you're still crazy about practice. No wonder CU doesn't want to come home. Even though it's been three years now. Is that letter from him? No. Oh, this letter's from your teacher. She says she's going to Hang Chao. And she says she wants to meet, see you there. Oh. Abbott, did you want me? You're to fight the low hand formation. Huh? Low hand formation? Yes. That's always been your mother's wish. I wish you the very best of luck. Do your best, son. And become a true Shaolin fighter. <laughs> oh, yes. She said in her letter that she'll wait for you in Hangzhou. I hope you succeed. I'll do my best, sir. Good. <laughs> you go and get ready, then. Yes. <laughs> Is going to let me go with you. Is that so? 
Are you confident? Of course. Right. Let's go. All right. Come on. <laughs> been here for three years now. There are no cowards in Shaolin. You have to try to pass this low hand formation. Otherwise, you'll have to go out through the back door. Yes, yes we, we understand. understand. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. sir. foundation.
Congratulations, my boy. You've successfully passed the test. There's no end to studying. So work hard and be of sound moral judgment. A Wu-Tang student, Li Parsan, has set up a competition just outside Hangzhou. He's done this to meet other martial artists. This'll be a chance for you to test yourself. Thank you, Abbott, and Master Bright Moon. I shall never forget you. Right. You may go now. Goodbye, sirs. so relaxed fighting on those 10 foot high poles oh, yeah. and he's defeated a lot of top martial artists really? lately you know yeah. yeah in the last few days nobody's dared accept his challenge yeah. i don't think anybody's yeah. good in yeah. it charlene student yeah. frank seal is here hey who's this frank seal oh, i've never heard of him have you oh, yeah. what's he gonna do the fight will begin hey Go ahead. 
Young man, you have got guts. So you attack from behind. No, that's nonsense. Hey! Shaolin Southern Branch. the Chintang River, and that's the Lukwo Pagoda up there. Oh. Ah, the 
the Chintong Tide. This still isn't the right time. Oh, it's magnificent. <laughs> it's even more so when the tide's coming up. This is the Canton Association. Come on now, oh. let's go in. Let's go. Come on. Oh, hey, hey. What's going on here? Uh, never mind that. It's not our business. Let us go inside. Come on. Hey, you can come in. Yeah, you should take it easy with them. Stand this way. That's right. Come this way. No problem. Take it easy. Take it easy. Come on. Come on. Oh, Master Fang, when did you arrive? We've just arrived today, Master Chan. Oh. How come so many people are injured? Our villages have been fighting in the championship, and many people have been hurt. The championship? Oh, yes. We'll talk inside. Uh, right. Those ones are bad. Who's holding this contest? It's the captain of the Hangzhou province, Ray Hong. Ray Hong? Mm. Hmm. It's him again. Who is it? You don't know. Mr. Chan. What has the tribunal done about this? Uh, nothing. Originally, it was their idea. Huh? Help me with it. Come on. Master, the guest rooms are ready. Oh, uh, do go in and, uh, and freshen up. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest has now been on for three days. And more than 10 martial artists have attended so far. Unfortunately, up to this moment, nobody has managed to defeat the host. Quiet, please, quiet. Now, I wish to repeat this again. Anybody at all who can defeat Captain Ray Hong will get the reward. 1,000 pieces of silver. 1,000 pieces of silver. Quiet, please, quiet. We take no responsibility for any injuries or death which occurred during the contest. All right, all right. The contest is now open. All are welcome to come up and challenge. Come forward, please. Please, would you all come forward one at a time? Thank you.
Did you find see you? Ah, uh, no. Hey, where could he go to, huh? Could he be... Could he be at the... At the contest? That's right. Mm. to try, please come up on the stage. I'm sure many more will be injured today. Oh, no mountain is too high. Just wait and see. Hey, hey, look, another one. Huh? And what is your name? Doughty you. Hey, I think that it's very unfair that you take turns to fight. So what do you want? I'd like to challenge the host, Captain Ray Hung. <laughs> Come on, get him out of here. Go on. Come on. Teach him a lesson. Come on, get him out of here. Try it again. The scare is Come on, get out of here. Tell us what you're doing. So you want to fight me? Captain Ray, if you're scared, you can still back out. You ask for this.
I'm Bon Si Yu, here to challenge you. You remember me? Oh, <laughs> you were that little baby years ago. You must be tired of living. Still, it's too late now. You can come back again tomorrow morning. <laughs> Kill you. You bastard. Try to make trouble here. see you to come. What's the point in moaning? Do you realize? Rayong works for the tribunal? There'll be trouble now, even if CU defeats him. <laughs> he says Cantonese are hopeless fighters. He's really asking for it. Can't you understand? All right, let's cut it out. Did you hear that Ray Hong's wife uses poison darts? They said she attacked this man from behind today. And he turned black after he died. She really did that? Yes, Mother. It's true. I saw it all myself. That's why I went up to fight. Just be quiet. Come on, pack up. We'll leave here at once. Uh, Mr. Fang. Oh, Mr. Fang. Your teacher's just arrived. She's waiting in the West Wing. Oh, teacher's here. Let's go to see her now. Oh, please. Please. Dad. Father-in-law. 
When did you get here? Dad, please stop for a while. We'd like to talk to you. Just tell me what it is. <laughs> it's like this, sir. A Shaolin student has arrived. He's joined in the competition. <clears throat> so, what does that have to do with me? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> We'd like you to come and help us. What? Dad, I'm afraid Ray will lose. Please help him. Huh. I understand this is a government affair. I'm not interested. Dad! That's enough. Now go. Oh. Captain Ray, what can we do? Hmm. We'll kill that bastard tomorrow. Hmm. I have this, if the worst comes to the worst. Wow, that's really good. Uh, that'll take care of him. Uh, Captain Ray, congratulations. You will become famous all over the country. <laughs> Please. Mistress, I want to take CU back to Canton tomorrow. No, Dad, I won't go. Uh, see you. They'll kill you, don't you know that? That's exactly why I want to stay. They've killed too many people. They're ruthless. They use poison. They're really dirty fighters. Someone has to do something. I can't just walk away from it. <laughs> you... <laughs> what do you know? George Aid, what do you think? I saw them fight today. Ray Hung is very good. He's tough. See, you held him at the beginning. Later, he fell behind. So, I hope the teacher, you can help him. How do you want me to help? I hope you'll... Uh, teach him your Iron Lake style. I can't. Have you forgotten our regulations? No, I haven't. But this is a special case. That's impossible. Teacher, I remember. You did once promise to teach him Kung Fu. I did. But this style iron leg is too dangerous. That's why it's restricted to girl students only. To avoid unnecessary killing. I really can't break the regulations. Hmm. Dad, don't make it difficult for the teacher. I promise I'll go back to Canton with you. Ha, ha, ha. That's better, my son. That's much better. <laughs> Thank you.
an assassin. <gasps> He's passed out. Ah. Oh. Is she you? See you? Are you all right? See you. Why would he come here? Hey, see you is dead. <laughs> I'm all what right. What is all this? Mother. What's this about? <laughs> hey, that was very close. <laughs> <sighs> Lucky I was prepared. Look at this, huh? <laughs> Thank you for your instruction, teacher. <laughs> He's still young. Please forgive him, teacher. Oh, this boy is really very keen. Buddha, bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Hey, there he is! and get upset. That's exactly what he wants. He's right. You mustn't lose your concentration. Ah! 
get ready.
gather in front of the temple at noon. I have an announcement to make. Yes, sir. Attention, brothers. Please gather in front of the temple at noon. The abbot has an announcement to make. Right. right. Martial arts are well known. They are some of the best in China. But our reputation comes through hard work. So we mustn't be too full of ourselves. And now, through hard work, our external student, Feng Si Yu, has just completed the famous two finger strike. Thank you. See you. It took you a long time to master that skill. I hope that you'll use it to do good. Yes, teacher. Oh, you were coming. Please forgive me, sir. Hmm. Are you going to kneel down and show your respect? Huh? Uh, sir, please forgive me, sir. Uh, <laughs> yes, you're forgiven. I'm not that small-minded. <laughs> Rise. Thank you, sir. My lord, is there anything that you want me to do here? The Emperor believes that Shaolin is expanding too fast. They may cause trouble here. All right. What shall I do? He thinks the Shaolin monks are all rebels. They must be cleaned out. Ah. But you'll have to leave the court right out of it. But... <laughs> Don't worry about that. I believe there has always been conflict between different martial schools. Different martial schools? Forgive me, Your Excellency. They just told me you'd arrived. Hey, that's quite all right. I have something to discuss with you now. Everybody stop practice now! Yes, yes sir. sir. Please. Uh, the court would like your people to assist us to get the rebel. Fancy you. Huh? But his teacher and myself are close friends. This is very difficult. I don't think I can do this for you. Hmm. So you disobey an order? <laughs> I only obey our Supreme Lord. Huh. You bastard! <laughs> Enough! You won't beat him. He'll only make a fool of you. 
<laughs> Stand back at once. Yes, Excellency. Your Kung Fu is really very good. I give you my compliments. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Here is 10,000 tails of silver. You know, you don't have to take care of this yourself. Fools. I have no choice but to close your place down. Let's go. Wait. Hmm? I can only help you in secret, sir. You must tell no one about this at all. When this is over, you will get more money. Good. It's a deal, then. This is a figure of thanks to you, the boxer. All right. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? You really think to you? Stand aside. Just eat. Here you are, sir. Table over here, yes. Sit down, thank you. Yes. There you go. <laughs> there you are. What would you like now, sir, eh? One roast chicken. Uh -huh. Ten bread rolls. Oh. And a bowl of beef noodles. Oh, right. Uh, uh, how many are there of you, sir? Just me. Oh, right. Uh, one roll. Hey. Hey. Yeah. And some wine. Oh, right. Hey. <laughs> he must have starved since he was born. Who does he think he is? Hey. Hey, here we are. <laughs> we'll get him this time, okay? Right. Hey, come in, come in, come in. Whoa. <laughs> Brother, that's some kung fu you have. I guess you must be from a good school. Uh, Shaolin Temple is a good school. Shaolin Temple? It's from CU. Get him. <laughs> You must wait for Wai Kin. You'll never beat Dragonhead. Back to the back. Uh, gentlemen. Hey, Mr. Wu, we're nice to you, and now you think you can step on our toes. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're saying. Just listen. Tomorrow you're not joining in that parade. We'll fight them! Hey, come on! Stop fighting! Stop! Stop! Stop fighting! Stop, Stop it! You people are looking for trouble. Hmm. Wow. You look real pretty when you're angry. <laughs> 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 Whoa, we 
can't let him get away with this. They'll think we're cowards. Yeah. Yeah. Uncle, we can't act like cowards. No, that's hey. right. You must have patience. I think we'll discuss this with Y. Kim when he gets back. Enough of this. Everybody practice. Everybody go and practice. Go on. Come on. Just another fool. Come on. It's been many years. I'm glad you're back now. <laughs> Me too. So how is everybody? <laughs> We've had some problems. Now that you're back, you can take charge of everything here. Hey, Uncle, what's this all about then? Brother, you don't understand. While you were gone, we had a lot of trouble with Dragonhead. Oh, Dragonhead? Now tell me, were you able to learn any special Kung Fu at Shaolin Temple? Uh, not so special. What's that? You? Hey. Uh, uh, uncle, why do you attack me? Just you fight. Hey, why can't him? That was good kung fu. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Well, that is Chi Kung. Huh? Chi Kung? <laughs> Brother, I hear thanks to you's learned a two-finger strike. Oh? oh? What's so special about his two-finger strike? My Chi Kung is more powerful. <laughs> hey, Waikin, come with me. 
Kneel down here. Now tell me, who killed your father? Dragon Head. And who robbed us and took the family property? Dragon Head. Why do you go to Shaolin to learn Kung Fu? Well, <laughs> to move my body. <laughs> <laughs> Be serious, boy. <laughs> to get revenge. Right. 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 We, we want revenge. revenge. We We're want behind revenge. You. We, we want, want revenge. revenge. We, we want revenge. We want revenge. We'll go. Thank you, sir. Dragon Head, you must weed out the roots. Yes, sir. That pretty looking girl there. Oh, the two of them is Wu Wei Zhen. The other is Wu Han Zhen. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. You know they're famous for their styles. Oh, good. Good. No dragon head to take care of it. Yes, mm. Your Excellency. Oh, not another one. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear colleagues, now the purpose of the lion dance every year is to raise interest in martial arts. I sincerely hope that all of you will put aside your prejudice and work together to promote martial arts. This year we've raised all of the prizes, so good luck to you. You see that? You're required to take the green vegetable without breaking the wine jar. All right, the contest begins! Thank you. 
amigo. No, I'll go myself.
you're not in his league. Who are you? I'm Liu Tai Pang. I'm Dragonhead. Go after him. I'll get them eventually. They won't get away. Let's talk. <laughs> come, come. We finally gained some face and restored our reputation. Take a seat. Thank you. Now, young man, this is for you. Come, drink it up. <laughs> Listen, friends, to my tale. This is the story of a victory. All the good over all evil. Lion dancing can time to celebrate the coming of a good harvest. But a villain came to disturb their peace. This man called himself Dragon Head. He controlled gambling, dens, and brothels. He was a dangerous threat to the people. He took over our factory by force and killed the master of a martial school. Whose son went to study at Shaolin and swore to come back to get his revenge. At last, the young master returned amid the sounds of drums in Canton. The golden lions waved their tails and paid respects to their ancestors. Just when they were about to get the prize, an arrow shot through the air and hit the young mistress. Dragon Head was very pleased to see this, as he thought now he would get the prize. But the gods sent help down from heaven. Two finger strike made a hole in the jar. Dragon Head was angry and started a fight, but Fang Si Yu beat them all off. Shaolin Kung Fu is number one. Dragon Head is now a little worm. Everybody gave the three, three cheers, cheers for the winner, winner and, a and a feast was held to celebrate. celebrate. Good, let's celebrate. Celebrate! I'm really very happy today. Although I'm old and injured, let me say something to this party. As long as our school banner flies, we'll teach Dragon Head a lesson. Right! As long as our school banner flies, we'll drive Dragon Head out of this town. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. Now, let's ask Brother Fung to demonstrate his two-finger strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, see you. Come on. Don't be shy. Come on. That's it. Come on. Is he good? Hey. Yeah. He's really something, eh? Yeah, of course. He's from Shaolin Temple. Yeah. Tai Pang's praying mantis style looks really impressive. Naturally, he's a Wu Tang student. If he's not good, he wouldn't have challenged Fang Si Yu. Brother, I'd like to remind you. What now? He wants to get revenge, and that's his own business. Uh, we mustn't get ourselves involved. I think you should tell him to leave right away. We have no reason to go against Fang Si Yu. Don't you agree? That's nonsense. Thanks to you, doesn't scare me a bit. Besides, he's a friend of Wu Wai Kin, so that makes him our enemy as well. Excuse me, the commissioner's here. Oh. <laughs> My respects, sir. Dragonhead. 
How are things going with that little job I gave you? Uh, which one do you mean, Your Excellency? What's that? You forgot? How could you forget? I haven't, sir. I haven't, sir. Don't worry. I've discussed this with Lu Tai Peng. We'll fix it as soon as possible. Oh. Uh, please, sir. Oh. Lu's over there, practicing. Oh. Come on. He's Lu Tai Pak. <laughs> His kung fu's very good. The reason he came to Canton was to go after Fang Si Yu for revenge. Mm. Good. Mm. That's good. He's crazy. How can he affect the commissioner? The commissioner's just trying him out. You keep out of this. The mantis style is really as good as they say. Who are you? Chang Bill. Hmm. I'll introduce you. This is the commissioner, Chang Bill. Hmm? He's Lu Tai Pang, nicknamed Iron Mantis. I'm glad that you are an outside. Uh, please. <laughs> hmm. Don't forget that girl. Go and fix it now. Yes, sir. It's nothing. You should sure be right. more careful. It's all right now. Come on, everybody, practice. Carry on, carry on. Right. <laughs> spinning palm. What spinning palm? <laughs> Brother Sender, where is he? Nothing, Tim. Come on. reminds me of the first time we arrived at Shaolin Temple. You were very young then, but a troublemaker. I remember. You cried a lot too. I did not. <laughs> hmm? Brother Sanders. Brother Sanders. When did you get back here? Just now. 
I was asking you, when did you two come back to Canton? Yesterday. I see, yesterday. And you come to see me today. And why not? You're our senior brother now. It's our duty to come and pay our respects to you, right? <laughs> You're extremely nice to me. I think you must be after something. Hey, you're right, brother. We want to find out about a long-lost style, the spinning palm. The spinning palm? Tell me, has it reappeared again recently? No. We just want to know more about this mythical style. Hmm. All right, come with me. <laughs> the sender house teacher these days he's fine you know he's always managed to stay in good health The spinning palm is one of the greatest styles in Shaolin Temple, but still, as far as I know, it's been lost for over a century now. Why is that? Is it hard to learn? Hmm. To tell you the truth, even our teacher failed to master the style. Hmm? Do you see that? The higher it goes, the heavier it falls. Uh -huh. But what's that got to do with the spinning palm? <laughs> huh? The idea is one must concentrate his power into his palm and then combine that power with the pressure of falling. Therefore, one has to be an expert in body weight control in order to do this. Perhaps Brother C.U., with his experience, will be able to learn it. Hey, write it down quickly. Oh. Use the force of gravity. Body is the axis, palm is the all. Hey, and hold on. What does it mean by the palm hey, is hey, the all? Hey. I understand it. Oh, really? So fast? Mm-hmm. Thank you, brother. Let's go. Buddha bless you. Buddha bless you. The pair of you. What's the date? It's a firework festival. Fireworks? I thought it was a Lily Lantern Day. Lily Lantern? Hey, brother, how about a dragonfly on the water? What do you say? Hey, forget Come it. Come on, let's use faster. Start now. Hey! Brother, you're fast. Hey, your weight control is really good, too. Let's go see the lanterns. It's so busy. Mistress, 
You don't often come to Canton. This time you must stay a few more days. Eh? I dropped into Canton to see you. I have urgent business in Yunnan, but thank you for your kindness. I shall come again. Good. Oh, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Pure jade. Pure jade. Huh? Very young, but looks quite old. Highs in the daytime. Hey, stop looking at the puzzles. Let's go look at the lantern. Hey. What's that? She's holding my hand. Look, no, I'm not holding hers. is up to no good again. Teacher, I've got something to do. I must go. Hey, come to Yunnan if you need my help. Why don't you get down here? I lost your sister. Oh, stop kidding me. It's true. She's been kidnapped. Who dare kidnap her with you there? It's true. Huh. She's gone. Hey, must be Dragonhead. Come on, we'll go see Wait, it. Wait, we got no evidence. Right. You wait at the gate. I'll get my ninja gear. All right. Brother. Hmm. Be very alert tonight, mm. all right? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You two stay here. Right. You two over there. Right. And be careful. Right. right. going so late. They must be up to something. Right. We better stay put. Right. Huh, you bunch of idiots. Uh, Shut up! Uh, get up! You fell asleep! 
Take her out. Right, come on. Come on. Oh. Where are you taking the girl to? To the bamboo grove. Why'd you want to do that? Fancy you will come here, but he won't find the girl. Our men will be waiting instead. That's right. You're very clever. I hope Fancy you will turn up here as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Dragonhead, your plan worked, and it looks like huh, we have a big catch here. <coughs> Fetch the torch. Yes, sir. Thanks to you. You deserve to die. You killed my brother, so you ought to pay with your life. Now that seems fair, doesn't it? <laughs> You're a coward. You use underhand message. That's so. Light the fire. Yes, yes sir. Burn him alive. Yes, sir. She looks like you. My sister. It's hard to tell. But she looks like it. Let's go. Brother, open the sack. Someone's coming. So it's you. When did you get to Canton? You still have no patience. You must be careful. This is a wild world. I don't want anything to happen to you. Hey, 
This is another girl. It's not my Jen. Drakenhead is really cunning. It's strange. I don't understand. I definitely saw them taking Y. Jen into that grove. I swear I saw it. Hmm. They must have exchanged her for another girl on the way. <laughs> Those bastards. Let's go back. We can't. They may try to harm your sister. The best way to do this is to divert them. Right. The factory. Let's attack the factory. Let's do it. I want to look at your shoes. Hmm. Tell me, what's your reason? Take them off. Here, have a good look. I didn't go beyond that door last night. I was here all night. Who are you? You've got guts to cause trouble in Dragonhead's place. <laughs> I'm thanks to you. I'm Wu I Kin. Stand back. Ah, oh, hello, Mr. Wu. You turned over this factory to Dragonhead many years ago. And now are you trying to get it back? Be quiet. Tell Dragonhead to get out here. I'm sorry. This is private property. You're not welcome. Please. You? What do you want? Huh. I'm just trying to teach you some manners. You need it. Close it off! Ah, they want to fight. God, don't help. Everywhere. I couldn't find Y. Jen. Where can she be? Let's go. Master! Bad news. What's happened? The factory's been attacked. What do you say? They were eaten up. Right, get going. Right. Hey. This is quite serious. Inform the commissioner. Let's go. I see, so my beauty's still safe in your place. Then why don't you bring her over here to me? Yes, sir. I'll go do that at once. Now, wait a minute. Hmm? You must reconsider this, sir. Why is that? Apparently, they got help from elsewhere. They won't give up looking for the girl. And if they find the girl here, it would be a very bad thing for your reputation. Hmm. So why don't we clear the way first and then you can <laughs> enjoy the girl. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
All right. What shall I do? You have practiced the golden formation for a very long time now. I guess this is a chance for you to check out its power. I understand. You're going to use the girl as bait to lure them into a trap. Right, right. <laughs> hmm. Well, they are very suspicious, so how do we go about it? Uh, uh, sir, you can tell Dragonhead to challenge them to a duel. They don't want to be called cowards. They'll certainly come. <laughs> <laughs> now then, Lu Tai Peng, you want your revenge? Sure. I'll leave Funksy Yu to you. If you beat him and his two-finger strike, you'll become a very famous man. A uh, really? I've made a plan that'll get rid of all of them. Swift? Sir. Fetch some wine. Yes, sir. Please, sit down. Look at this, Dragonhead challenges. What do we do? Who's this Iron Mantis? The Iron Mantis? Oh, he's Tiger Lu's brother, Lu Tai Pan. Hmm. Huh. I'll accept this challenge. Let's go. Eh? I think we'd better go and discuss this with Brother Sander first. See what he thinks about it. Hmm. The White Gorge is a sacred area to priest by May. We mustn't cause any disturbance there. But still, my sister's life depends on us. It's a trap set by the commissioner. He wants us monks to fight among ourselves. You see, the cults always wanted to disband us. Ah, but we can't just stand here and do nothing. Why Jen's life is at stake. That's right. If she's the only one I have, I must get her out of there. Well. All right, you go there then. I'll come later with our other men. I'll try and do my best for you. Thank, Thank you, you, brother. Buddha bless you. Sander! Huh? Mom and Sander? Hey! hey! Brother, you're too impulsive. Hey, look at that. What is it? What's his formation? Let's be careful. A man should fear no evil. Don't be scared. Hey, it's changing. <laughs> Those damn priests, they're trying to copy us. They're making formations as well. <laughs> Buddha bless you. This is the golden formation. It's very dangerous. Hey, brother, judging by the way you're dressed, you came prepared, didn't you? Huh. Don't tell me you're afraid of it now. Be quiet. Don't underestimate it. I need to watch it carefully to find a way to break it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's go. No. Let's watch it some more before making our move. Attack! Uh. Ah! 
Bastards. Come on.
of evil. All roots of evil emerge from men's minds. So remember, Buddha says, if you let nothing worry you, then nothing can worry you. Don't say you. You're a brave man. I didn't think you'd come. Yes, I've come. But you're not a man. You're a goddamn coward. What you say? Huh? You challenged me to a duel. And then set up an ambush for me to walk into. Ambush? How could you kidnap a girl to blackmail me? You play dirty. Play dirty? But winning is the name of this game. You are gonna die. <laughs> right. I'm gonna tear every piece of skin off of you to see what animal you are.
Lu Chai Feng, where's Wai Jen? You managed to defeat me. I promise you she won't be harmed. Right. Then let's get on with it. Fool. So what? Anyway, he was just a stepfather. He's my sister's father, but she doesn't know that. Anyway, it's not your business. <laughs> Thanks to you, wants to kill you too, so you might as well die together. <laughs> Dragonhead, you murderer. <laughs> You're a bunch of animals. You're all murderers. You be careful what you say. Shut up. I'll kill you. Dragonhead. So you killed my father. Do you understand why I had to kill him? I understand. There is no more feud between our two families. That's very good. We were both the victims. Dad, I've finally taken revenge for you.
I never thought I'd see a court official who was acting like a villain. Get ready. Yes, sir. You bastard. Haven't you any principles? Those who think of those things now, hmm, are all fools. Boys are fools! Fung see you, if you think you have principles, you should help that poor girl. Hmm? What do you want? Hmm. Of one condition. And what's that? I want you to cut off your two fingers. What did you say? The no finger strike! <laughs> you son of a bitch. Hmm? Fungsy, you. Don't you try anything stupid. Look at that. Why do you win? Cut him off. <laughs> When the people say women are men's trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Thank God we pulled through this. Huh? It's Uncle Doug. See you. I'd better stay away with White Ken and White John. Thanks to you. Pays his deepest respects. Hmm. I'm surprised you have any respect for me. Or is making a bloodbath out of my sacred ground your way of showing it? I wouldn't dare. Huh. Huh. Young man, don't tell me lies. You have to pay for what you've done. Let me explain. It was because I had to. You'll I be quiet. Jizan, come out here. Big brother, it's been a long time. Buddha bless you. Your student, Fang Si Yu, has desecrated my sacred ground. And as you're his teacher, what do you think we should do about it? Buddha bless you. I respected you as my senior, but you have no ears for reason. I'm disappointed. Just do with me what you will. See you. Mm. Good. Buddha bless you. Brother, you shouldn't bother to fight with these juniors. All right, then you can fight in his place. Buddha is merciful. See you. You are too willful. 
<laughs> he injured my teacher. I can't let him get away with that. Oh, you mustn't hold grudges like this. Hmm. Sister, I must teach him a lesson. Leave it. See you. Come and apologize to your uncle now. Hmm. I'm sorry. See you. You must come back with me to your nut. <laughs> Suggest you stop within ten strokes. All right. Then you may start. Buddha bless you. Buddha bless you. Buddha bless you. Thank you. 